everybody chat with nobody else's auto tonight got some real cool inventory actually a car that i've never owned one of before so always excited when you add something new to the collection that you've never had the opportunity to own now even those cars are a little rough it's got a ton of really super hard to find pieces left on it what we're going to check out tonight 1958 ford skyliner retractable convertible i've never owned a retract super unique cars made for three years 57 58 59 this one here is a 58 and like i said it's nowhere near complete it's got some rust in it but a lot of the retract parts are here you just don't see a lot of these cars really cool piece to add to the collection we'll start up here towards the front we can see a lot of the side mullings are all gone off the side of the car but a lot of it is in the car we start under the hood so this car has no motor or transmission in it anymore basically everything under here is pretty well stripped out so nothing left there drivetrain wise but uh, a few pieces left on the firewall and a lot of the sheet metal structure is still here grill a lot of those pieces are gone as well the front bumpers inside the car we still got the really unique 58 dish to the hood on this car as we walk around the side of this thing and take a look at it like i said a lot of the side moldings are in it but what's so great about this car a lot of this stuff is here a lot of the retract stuff is here a lot of the trim the roof we can see here where the front part of the roof where the seam is where that would flip under as the roof retracted back into the trunk we can see a lot of this trim is here all the way around the back of the quarters around the back window a lot of those roof pieces are still here we take a peek inside the car on this side we see some of the side moldings we see some of the garnish trim fender wells lots and lots of pieces still inside of this car as well we'll come on around the back and another very unique feature about these retracts obviously if you're familiar with these cars at all or if you're not familiar with them the roof retracted into the trunk well the trunk couldn't open conventionally because if the trunk opened like a conventional trunk would it's kind of tough to stick a roof in there so this trunk is actually designed to open backwards from a normal trunk so the trunk could flip up and the roof could retract into the trunk so obviously that makes the whole back of the car different than a standard 57 58 or 59 ford because this whole area back here is different so that trunk could retract or the trunk could open and the roof could retract into the trunk so we can see this whole body panel and all this stuff back here that's all specific to these retracts is all still here and it hasn't been hit or smashed or anything tail lights are gone but all that structure and everything's there and still looks pretty good we'll come along this side of the car once again we still see a lot of this trim here the skyliner emblems a lot of cool pieces there the windows we'll take a peek inside the car from here lots more extra pieces we we'll see lots more side trim we can see the front bumper the front bumper brackets we got the front grill molding in here even a four barrel and an intake for, for one boxes of spare parts back here extra trim extra horn rings extra carburetors and we can see most of the dash is actually still intact in this car as well Appears as though the car was originally kind of a light yellow color instead of the blue. Someone's repainted it in its lifetime. We see this was originally a yellow car. I'm assuming the top was probably white since the car was yellow. The top, I'm guessing, was probably always white. Here again, we can see where it has that seam. Even you see the seam and the drip rail. So that piece could flip under and fit up under the top and retract into the trunk. Really unique cars. These were super cool cars. They had all kinds of electric solenoids and motors to make all this happen. Pretty unique setups. So they're a neat car. You don't see tons of them. There are still some of them out there, but finding a decent parts car, really tough. These cars are super popular, super cool, and very unique. So always excited to add something different that I didn't have here and actually have never owned to the yard. So that's why I'm excited about it. I hope you guys like checking it out as well. We can come back around the front. We'll see what we see. Definitely this car has to have some rust in it, things like that. So structurally didn't look too bad. The floors and everything are all still in this car, but just a lot of rust in a lot of different places. So structurally, it's not folding in half, but rust here, rust here, and rust here just adds up to a lot of rust. But like I said, a lot of the important stuff still here. Super excited about that. So anyway, that's what we've got for you guys tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Something a little different. 
something definitely different for me because with all these cars here, I've never owned one. So <laughs> really excited to bring one in and add it to the collection. Anyway, if you're on Facebook, please share the video with your friends. Invite them to come over, give the page a like so they can hang out with us. We do a lot of these, having a lot of fun doing them. We got a lot of cool stuff to check out. So they can give the page a like, keep up with us. If you're on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with what's going on. And if you like old cars, you like old trucks, you like automobilia, be sure to check out all of my other videos. That's all we do on here because that's really about all I know. <laughs> if you have specific questions about vehicles or parts, whether it's this retract or one of the other 1,500 cars and trucks that we've got around here, whether you need parts, whether you're looking for a project, the only way to get a hold of me is to call me. Having that short conversation on the phone is what I have to have from you to know whether I may or may not have something that can help you out. 620-786-4428, that number's on the page. Be sure to give me a call, that short two minute conversation about your project or what you're looking for, year, make, model, body style, the direction you wanna go. Do you wanna build a patina vehicle? Do you wanna build a full restoration? Do you wanna build a pro touring car? That type of stuff is the information that I need to know if I may have something here that could help you out. So as always, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out with me for a few minutes, checking out some more cool iron and uh, really appreciate you guys doing that. If you guys weren't stopping by and hanging out, me walking around talking to the camera would, would be pretty boring. So thanks to you guys for swinging by, making this happen. Hope you guys enjoyed the retrack. Stay tuned. Lots more cool stuff coming up. Tons of inventory been coming in. Lots more new inventory coming in and lots more videos coming up on that stuff besides all the other stuff we've got around here. So thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon on the next video.